to do your POP, you need a few things, and that is the flat surface. The first one is a flat surface. The second one, you need these buttons. The third one is that you need your soap. You need the soap. This helps to make the surface slippery, so that by the time you are done, you, it will be easy for you to remove your POP from the surface. Hi. Today, I'm going to take you through how to make POP boards by yourself at home. This one here is key soap. the POP. Now you put this fiber, when you buy it usually they are entangled together. You need to make sure To do the POP, you need a few things. You need um, a flat surface. That's the very first one. You need a flat surface. To do your POP, you need a few things. And that is the flat surface. The first one is a flat surface. The second one, you need these buttons. Depending on the size you are going to mold, um, you can put as long as six feet by two. You're going to have six feet by two. And then the next thing you would need is your fiber. So it's the fiber that's in here, as you see. The third one is that you need your soap. You need the soap. This helps to make the surface slippery so that by the time you are done, you, it will be easy for you to remove your POP from the surface. And then finally, you need your POP cement. This is how the POP cement looks like. It's powdery and that's how it looks like. It is a POP cement you are going to mix with the water and then you use that one to do your mold. We are going to allow this to cure for about 15 to 30 minutes. Then after we'll come back and you will see what we've been able to do so far. At this point we want to check whether the POP is dry for us to remove but sometimes it might be dried on the surface but then it's not dried underneath so we need, we need to check to be sure if all of that uh, everything is dried at this point so you have to remove it gently also what contributes to this could also be the type of surface you are using. If you are using plywood, which is why most of the times we use plywood. If you are using plywood, the plywood is able to soak some of the water for you. So that makes it easier and fast to dry. But, you know, for the purpose of this video, we are using this um, glass surface to do it. At this point, let's check and see whether our POP is dry enough to move. When you are ready to move it, don't be too much in a hurry to move it because you might get it broken. You have to take your time and then release the pressure gently. So you put your scraper under. looks like wow from the back here's how it looks like from the back but this is just a demonstration for you to see how the pop boards are done depending on the designs that you want if you are going to use it for your ceiling these are the boards that 
will cut and design so that you can fix it up on your ceiling at this point it's not fully dry but at least you get the idea of how to make pop boards by yourself at home and i'm happy you had time to stay with us all through from the beginning now i love you so much see you next time